Hello guys, Josh here and welcome to another episode of my Carlisle United career more than today. It's going to be a full sim episode. Um, we're currently for about a verse 19th place at Swansea City. We're currently sitting the second in the league after eight games, three points behind Palace. And it's getting to the first game. So that's the team we're rocking with, that's their team. You already know our strongest 11's out, no matter what this season. You know, it's a big season for us. A big, big season, so... That's why I'm pretty much using my um, start 11 pretty much every week. Because I don't want to, obviously, you know, lose. And then... That um, impacts the rest of our season. I drive a... Uh, run people into the ground and eventually sub them for like a game or two rather than just keep rotating the squad this whole season at least for now because our bench isn't that strong just yet it's getting stronger we're still th two three places off making that a proper bench oh that is some beautiful play Campbell on the score sheet you'll love to see it you do love to see it. It was basically there's a, I mean, a, a new keeper, sort of. But also not really, because it's considering you don't want a strong keep on the bench. Ibrahimaj, Hayden's, you know, Hayden's fine. Casado's fine, their Char is fine. Cole's the youth fullback. Lancaster, the youth come and obviously Diallo is there. It's kind of annoying seeing a Triobre there because that's not his name anymore. But obviously, when I say it's Cremo, that hasn't changed. So, yeah, we're stuck with the name being Triore, even though it's not his name. But you know, it's whatever, it's whatever. So, yeah, we're still about two or three. Real positions off having a solid bench, but once we get into the Prem, obviously our bench will be solid as soon as possible. Pretty much as soon as possible. Go on, oh. Preston, not Preston, um, Marion almost getting it on the score sheet there. Go on, almost getting Marion. A goal there. A chance then for the respective manager. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. George okay, I'm going to give Diablo a little run out as well this game. As well as probably Lancaster. And maybe a ch actually, probably Charlie as well. Preston. Give all the three boys a run out. Go on, Campbell. Get a decent defender there, to be fair. So, um, it was a Chari for Campbell, Diallo, and then it was Lancaster. Hopefully, it didn't take 20 minutes to actually get the subs on. Okay, Tanner's done well there. Tanner's been called for again. The keeper right there was lost, I'd say. Campbell getting a brace before he gets uh, subbed off. So there we go. Pretty much a new from three. With only Marin surviving the drop. And that took like, what, 20 minutes to just make those, make those subs? Like 20, 25 minutes to make those subs. So. That's already solved a problem. 
options in the middle. Well, can they be creative from here? Lewis. And there it is. And we've got a 3-0 win for the first game. So the next game is now against Tranmere Rovers. In, was it this day? Did that say the FA Cup or the Carabao? Against the Carabao Cup. Um, so we've made a few subs. Uh, so we brought in Lancaster, in Cam, uh, Ahmad for right wing. I didn't want to weaken the team too much, because you know we still want to actually win some trophies. And the weak squad, obviously, you know we could easily go like two 0 down in the first half. Then after someone, the big boys, but Campbell is making sure you know we, we don't concede first, and hopefully we completely dominate this match. Because if I have to, I will bring on. Ibrahim Maj for Marin. You know, I'll bring on Achari and Casido if I really need to. Well, I'm, I'm hoping we finish off the game before half time. That would be the most ideal game right now. Is if, if you know if we do that. So we'll see. Though we'll see. Okay, Campbell just held on the ball a bit too long there. And Mengi also getting a goal. Fair play to him, fair play to him. Okay, Marin's doing some, some tricks on the ball like. I'd say 3-0 before half-time should be this game killed off. Then I can make some subs, rest some players. Okay. I'm pretty sure that Wayne Bruce was luckily offside, so I'll take that. That uh, Lancaster. Because I'm Musial, but he's with Tesney. So, Lancaster 3-0. That's what I need. To be fair, 3-0 before half-time. Hopefully kill the game. Yeah, I might have your shot there. Whip it in. No one whipped it in. Anyway, so, like, like I said, a child will be brought on. And... Let's bring on Casido for... Bellingham. That's has to be more of a defensive play. Well, a defensive change, shall I say, bringing on Casido. So we shouldn't really concede. But obviously, you never know. Ahmad, Chari, nice hold up play. Back to Ahmad. To be fair, Chari's doing well to, for uh, some hold up play. Oof, Marion. Almost getting a goal there. So, I mean, a chair is doing well to be fair. Ahmad getting a few shots off there. Inside the last quarter of an hour. And he read it well, intercepting it. Okay, play down the wing to Ahmad. There we go. Just pass a move. Triangle play them if you really need to. 
Just too hard for Marin to actually catch up there. And then we go. 3 0 win against Tranmere in the Carabao Cup. So on to the next stage. Into the league. So, you know, obviously, the uh, the full 11's back out. Sheffield Wednesday, I didn't actually see where they were in the league. But we're still three points behind Palace. So I'm hoping that they will lose. You know, it, it's going to take a very good team to beat Palace to be fair. So I reckon it's going to be a tough, tough season against Palace. And it's pretty much race to the title, if you will. I mean, for now it is anyways, but obviously in the season we could drop off, they could drop off. Anything could happen in, in you know, these seasons. So, obviously we've got to hope um, that we do better this season. Oh, Musiala. Not bad play at all. Right there, not bad at all. Okay, Tana, Ibrimaj, back to Tana. Ibrimaj with a shot out of the box. Bit of an outrageous shot to be fair. If it went in, it would have been a very good goal. To be fair, they aren't doing too bad. Sheffield wins there. They're doing quite well defensively, to be fair to them. So. See, Preston strength is actually just ridiculous. Personally, Michel should have shot there, but... Half time. I don't think it would make any subs because no one really improves the start 11 too much. So for now, you know, it, it's calm as it is. Marin, Marin. Gets the first goal for us. So I mean, that's exactly why I, I, I don't really want to change 11. Like the start 11 too much. Because, you know, they can do stuff like that. Nice save by Bulland. Okay, catch and practice for Butland there. Centre. Adam Reach. The 
determined defending. Breaking at pace. Okay, go on, come on, make the room, please. Because I, you know, I want to see this game off by again the second goal. Because they could easily go and score right now, so I'd rather have us get the third and also get the second goal and then just finish the game. Okay, it's probably their last attack. Never mind, but it's not. Okay, just get it booted up, honestly. Just don't even mess around with it. Okay, this should be the final kick right now with the final set piece. Oh, Mengi gets the goal. Makes it two, completely kills off the game. That's three wins out of three matches. Done very well there, to be fair. So, um, so yeah. Our next match will be against Norwich, but that'll be obviously next episode. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please do smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.